From the unavoidable tension between Nancy Wheeler and Steve Harrington to Will Byers' one-sided obsession with Mike Wheeler, here are some of the couples from Stranger Things that have fans begging on their knees. Starting with a bang and some gay drama, Will and Mike need to be together. The two have been friends for ages, and one might even say that out of the entire group, they used to be the closest. Will has that sensitive personality that balances out Mike's in a way that can't be replaced. But then again, Wheeler's in a pretty serious relationship with Eleven, and from the looks of it, he seems pretty obsessed with her. So, unless he has a gay awakening, it's pretty hard to imagine him beginning to feel for Will, which is exactly why fans are dying to see them together, regardless of the circumstances. I mean, think about it. Both of them have been through some of the worst, most traumatic events imaginable. And throughout this entire time of suffering, they've been tighter than ever. Sure, Will has been through a lot more than Mike, which might even make him appear older and more mature than his friend. But when Wheeler came to California to visit Eleven and Will, you could clearly see him solely focused on Elle. It was as if Will barely even existed for him. And if that hurt your sentiments, imagine what it did to poor Byers. It was clear that he noticed it, but that's not all. This was the first time his romantic feelings for Mike subtly came to light. When Will confronted him about not receiving any letters from him while Eleven received hundreds of them, Mike had the simplest response, stating that Eleven is his girlfriend, while Will is just a friend. Ouch. That might squash some hopes, but trust me, fans will fight to see them end up together. The next potential couple, though, is a practical need within the fan base. Something more has to happen between Joyce Byers and Jim Hopper. These two form the franchise's couple that always has the fans drowning in suspense. Sometimes, it seems like things might finally work out for them, but most of the time, it just seems like the timing is wrong and things get delayed once again. They've literally known each other since they were babies and their chemistry ever since the very first season has been undeniable. But then, every season, they've been pulled apart for one reason or the other, and the slow burn has been insane. Seeing how they literally had their first ever kiss in the fourth season. In season three, everybody thought that Hopper was dead, but then it was revealed in the following season that the man is still alive. And, I mean, how can you resist kissing your crush who has has literally come back from the dead. By now, there's an entire army of fans ready to advocate for them to have a happy ending. And it seems that going into season 5, they're set for their journey toward a proper, full-blown romance. Of course, nobody's leaving out the possibility that the producers might mess things up with them just for that element of surprise. But Joyce and Jim have been a constant for the show, apart from being the parent figure figures of almost all the kids in there. Not only have they been through a lot together, but they would do anything to protect the kids at all costs. But two of these kids seem to be going through some relationship trouble, and fans are not okay. Lucas Sinclair and Max Mayfield need to sort it out. Ever since Max got introduced into the show, Lucas formed the most wholesome bond with her, in a way that their couple stands out as one of the most mature ones in the show. They had been going super strong when season 3 ended, and it was easy to see them ending up together. But then, as volume 1 of season 4 began, Max ended the relationship and shattered thousands of hearts. Sure, she was going through a lot at the time, which made it seem like a very temporary thing. The visions were very hard on her, and she was also grieving Billy, her stepbrother, who ended up sacrificing his life for the kids. Thanks to the fact that Lucas and Max were super close even before they got together, you can tell that their bond still exists. But since Lucas got onto the basketball team and Max started distancing herself from him, their bond has only grown weaker. They ended up hanging out way less than they used to, but nobody can hide the fact that they still feel very strongly about each other. So fans are hoping that 
they'll be back together in no time. But that hope hangs on to a thin thread, assuming Max gets better after the terrible events of Season 4. The next couple, though, will have the fanbase torn in half. Nancy Wheeler and Steve Harrington are in dangerous territory. When the two got together in Season 1, a lot of the fans simply wanted them to end so that the real action could start. Almost everybody was pining over Jonathan, and even though Steve wasn't necessarily a bad guy, Jonathan and Nancy had the most unbeatable chemistry at the time. In the seasons following that, though, Steve got every opportunity possible to redeem his character, and almost effortlessly, he made everybody fall in love with him. With Jonathan's absence from Nancy's life due to the distance between them, Nancy and Steve have gotten closer than ever, especially when you think about Season 4, Volume 1. It was clear that they still have a lot of feelings for each other, and teaming up to put Vecna to rest was apparently all they needed to learn just how much they enjoy one another's company. For now, Nancy's still officially with Jonathan, and for the fans who still have their loyalties attached to him, Nancy and Steve might be a big no. But a lot of you seem to be ready to move on, because in reality, these two are literally made for each other. Then again, there's another half of the fandom that wants to see a brand new love interest for Nancy. No one can deny the chemistry between Nancy and Robin Buckley. The Steve, Nancy, Jonathan love triangle has existed since the beginning of the show, and it seems like fans are pretty much bored of all that straight drama. They want to see something entirely different. When the official Netflix Twitter account asked fans whom they wanted to see Nancy end up with, a huge chunk of them replied to the tweet saying they want her to end up with Robin. If you think about it, the thought isn't even that crazy. The two shared some of the most entertaining adventures together in Season 4, and though they seemed wary of each other in the beginning, they both grew on each other in no time. It's no secret that Robin is gay, and if she finds herself genuinely interested in Nancy, this might be the very first time she has a crush on someone who's right for her. Just like that, Ronancy became one of the most famous ships from the season, and uh, though the chances of this happening seem low, the Duffer brothers might as well just listen to the fans in the end. But if Nancy ends up with Robin, what would happen to Steve? Don't worry, because the fans have that figured out too. Steve's bromance with Eddie Munson could turn into something more. Now, it's clear that Munson was dead by the end of the fourth season, but a lot of people are hoping that, just like Hopper, he ends up returning. I mean, in such a short span of time, not only did Eddie win over the entire fan base, but he also got super close with Steve. Their adventures together were hilarious, and the two were so deeply compatible that fans couldn't resist thinking about them together. In fact, Joseph Quinn, who portrays Eddie in the show, hinted at the fact that Steve plus Eddie might actually happen, which is enough to drive half the world crazy with happiness. But until the fifth and final season declares which of them end up together and which of them don't, these were all the Stranger Things couples that fans are dying for.